Another upload to celebrate Northern Exposure. Streaming on Amazon. It's over 30 years after it aired. So this is an interview with Cynthia Gary, who plays Shelley on the series, talking about her pathway to network television. Okay, welcome back. Yes, is a very talented young actress who is one of the regulars on the hit TV series uh, Northern Exposure, which is seen on another network, which didn't do as well as ours did on New Year's Eve. Please welcome <laughs> Cynthia, Cynthia Geary, please. I like that belt. Oh, thank you. I think I saw that in Hook, didn't you? <laughs> Congratulations on uh, your success there with Northern Exposure. Now, you had, didn't you guys just get, was it Golden Globe nomination? We did, Golden Globe. Oh, there you go. Now, yeah. for what, Best Show? Is that what it best was? Best Show. Now, where's that accent? It sounds like Southern. Is that Mississippi? Okay, you got it. Mississippi, yes. Jacksonville? Jackson. Oh, Jackson. Oh, Jackson. Okay. Uh, Elm Street? <laughs> no, I'm pretty good. Dogwood. Oh, I'm pretty good. Yeah. Dogwood Street? Yeah, Dogwood. Yeah, Dogwood. <laughs> Boy, that sounds like a Mississippi street. <laughs> I mean, when you came to town, they said, well, you're from Mississippi, what street, Dogwood? They must have said, oh. Exactly. Oh, yes. Said, hi, I'm, I'm from Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. Now, did you have a nickname? Southerners tend to have nicknames, I find. Is that, uh... Oh, God. Do you have a nickname? I have to tell you this. Oh, no. Okay, this is from a long time ago. All um, right. You got to get this in perspective. Um, when I was in sixth grade, I was a foot shorter, but my feet were the same size, and, mm -hmm. um... And they're, they're not, like, that big right now, but um, in the sixth grade, they were really big, and everybody called me skis. And, um, oh, skis? <laughs> yeah, and I also took ballet, so I had this a great turnout, you know, and I walked like this, and skis and Daffy were kind of um, my calling card. Oh. But um, oh. I'm over it because we just did a show on Northern Exposure um, that concentrated on my big feet, and... Um, so everybody in America now thinks I wear a size 11 because that's <laughs> what they said on the show. I don't really wear an 11. No, no, you have very nice, uh, very nice <laughs> feet, actually. Hey. Probably nice feet, nice belt. Nice belt, but probably the last thing I would have noticed with a feet. Can <laughs> <laughs> you see? Ten and a half. <laughs> Ten and a half. <laughs> no, no, that, that's nice. So that was you, but they don't call you that. They still call you that when you go home? Well, nobody calls me that now, but, but after this show, you know, who knows? Right, they could might. happen, could happen. Big family? You come from a big family? Big family. I have two brothers and one sister. And real all-American beaver cleaver. Oh, really? Well, that's, not a, that's not a big family. It's not, I think it's yeah, like Well, I mean, no, I was supposed to say 12. 12 kids or something. No, you don't have to Well, that would be a lie. Yeah. <laughs> and that would be wrong. But it would be interesting. Yeah. No, so you have typical all-American family? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Mm -hmm. two, what, what was it? Two brothers? Two brothers, one sister. Uh -huh. and where do you fit in on this? I'm the baby. Now, see, the show business person is always the youngest. I'm the youngest. Mo uh, Jeffy, big family? Uh, three. Three. Youngest? Well, middle. My sister was uh, 10 So years. much for that theory. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 10 years. I was Carl? 10 years. Yeah, Carl, where are you? There are three. I'm the oldest. <laughs> so. Well, never mind about that. So what, did, so what, uh, so what makes your family the all-American family? What do you folks do? Are they, uh... Oh, I mean, you know, we sit down, have dinner together. It's the, okay, well, growing up, I, I, I had the family that, you know, we have devotional every morning. Oh, sure. Before, before school. It takes 30 minutes because they, every, the whole family has to be there. We sit down, we have dinner. We're always late to school. But well, that's um, great. As long as you're late for school, that's the important thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, really close family. Dad wore a tie at dinner? Mm hmm See, my dad always dressed up for dinner. I was amazed when I got old and I went to someone's house and their dad sat down in an undershirt. That was amazing. <laughs> Me too. Huh? My dad always had that. And he had the milk in the pitcher. Don't put the bottle on the table. Okay. Yeah. And what'd your mom do? My mom's a music teacher. Oh, she like the lady at the school with the big collar up here? Playing well, she didn't wear a big collar, but oh. yeah, she was the lady at the school and, um, and I was the star of all the musicals. And you were the star of all the musicals. <laughs> all right. Now, I think that's called collusion. <laughs> Well, yeah, it was kind of shocking to me, the fact that once my mother wasn't my teacher anymore in high school, she taught me in elementary school, and, mm -hmm. and I was the star of all the musicals, and I got to high school, and, and they didn't pick me anymore. I can't imagine that. 
Hmm. It well, was a, a major shock. Life can be rough. So what did your folks think? Now, you, you say you're going to Hollywood. Now, obviously, religious family from Mississippi. This couldn't have gone over too well. Mom, I'm going to Hollywood. You must have come here fairly young. Yeah. Um, they weren't. They were very scared. In fact, I think um, they're quite relieved that I'm in Seattle instead of L.A., even though I love L.A. Oh, you film the show. The show uh -huh. takes place in Alaska, but you film it in... And we film in Seattle, right. Washington. Right. Right. <laughs> Is that going to get a cheer? <laughs> Now, was, it, was this the first job you got, or was it? I um, actually I had one job before yep. this. Just one. What was that? And um, I I kind of have the Hollywood story, but my one job before this, it's kind of prepared me for this one because I was um, on divorce court, and <laughs> <laughs> and I played a very young wife of a very old man who looked like Orville Redenbacher, oh. and. Um, <laughs> And he was a scientist, and, and his experiment was to see how long people could stay underground without any light. And, and I was, was the experimentee with his assistant, and um, we had an affair. So uh, that ended that. <laughs> I think your parents are probably doing our devotionals now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Believe me. But on this show, on Northern Exposure, I, my character is... Um, I live with an older man, and we're not married, and they're, you know, that's, Ooh. that's not a great thing. Mm -hmm. Now, what do your parents say about it? They say, oh, that's the wrong part, is that? Um, they're, uh -oh, they're I think I hear your mom cool now on the piano. <laughs> yeah, there she is. Oh, okay. But they know you're well, and you're doing fine. They're, they're very proud. Okay, we'll say hello to them in Mississippi. We'll be right mom, back, Dad. right after that. It up. I want to thank my guests, my uh, equitation champions, for giving me this, this nice book. And of course, Carl Weathers, thank you very much. The show is Street Justice. And it's on all over the place. Uh, Jeff Stilson, you're on your way to Canada, to the Comedy Oasis. Yes, yes, in Canada. And of course, uh, Cynthia Geary from uh, Northern Exposure. And I'll be back tomorrow night when my guest will be Peter Weller. How about that? Comic actor Tommy Davison, the music of Southside Johnny and the Asbury Dukes, and the teacher of the year, who I met, very nice gentleman, Edward Schrader. See you tomorrow night, you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And in the video descriptions, there's further support options listed. Thanks for making the channel grow so much. Really appreciate it.